Do you guys ever run various tests on competitor teams versus yours? Any real world tests as well? Friendly competition. Um, we're, we're careful to do this because we really don't want to base or limit our tuning or engineering or development on anyone else's. However, um, if we feel like the market is really judging us against another option, we will baseline it as a way to um, benchmark the competition. Mm -hmm. um, I wouldn't say it's a real common thing. It's not standard practice. Um, we will, you know, from a marketing standpoint, take a look at what, what the, what's out there on the market. We don't want to come to market. Yeah, yeah, we do, we do competitive like analysis stuff. stuff and whatnot. If we're not the first to market on something, obviously yeah. any company is going to be doing that. Many times we have to see what, what is out there, but um, no, we don't. We don't uh, run in, various tests on tunes here. In general, you know, running a competitor's tune and then advertising something bad about it that that just doesn't work out. Um, you know, we're we're. <laughs> We're great, but we're biased, right? And so any, anything we do, anyone who sees what we what we publish is going to automatically assume that it's biased. So we're, we're really, and I think and this goes for any company, you're, you're really, your opportunity is to focus on what you do well and to talk about yourself and to, to represent and present your work and your products to the market. And then you let, you like kind of the market figure out whose is better. Uh, so yeah, I think I think at zero three four, we've proven uh, you know for almost twenty years now that we have a compelling vision for products. We have advanced capabilities to bring those products to market, and so we really don't. I, I don't. I don't really want our engineering teams even knowing necessarily about what the competition has done because that that creates the starting. And it, maybe it, it we can, can be, start much. Harder. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, we we that that's a tough thing to be in, right? You see, if you've seen something, you end up with some. You know, may end up with like tunnel vision, where it's like, oh, mm -hmm. that's what I have to do. You don't you don't properly engineer your solution. You just shortcut or short start things. Off. So we we don't do any of that here for any of our uh, calibration development. Yeah, uh, for and, sure. And, and the yeah. and the reason why that's important is we're not trying to be as good as anyone else. No, we we're have not our trying own. to keep up with anybody. We we are passionate and driven to lead the market we want to be number one we want to be the best uh, and our focus is going to be doing something much better than what the competition could do or even thought of and you know sometimes there's just only so much you can do um so I'm, i can already hear a trolley person pointing out that one product is almost identical to another company's product yeah sure there's, there's cases where you just there's just not that much opportunity to invent. But I think in many cases, we yeah. we are the ones pushing this market forward and setting the bar for the competition. So that that's that's why we don't really focus too much on what our competitors are doing unless there's a reason that would help us to be the best.